Hello there, my delicious friends, and welcome back to a little bit more of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. Welcome on back in. We have just wrapped up one of the side missions which involves investigating the kind of stuff that went down here at Sarif Industries six months ago involving um, the cover-up of information and evidence about when my girlfriend got murdered and other scientists were killed. For some reason... It was done so that none of the bodies could be identified and there was no DNA trace. But doesn't it seem a bit unusual to just ruthlessly kill all these scientists? And with such a specific crack hit team as well. Hmm. Oh, is this anti-augmentation graffiti? No offense, but uh, if it were up to me, this place would have a no-arg policy. That is very, very rude, sir. Fuck you, man. He'd just rather I was walking around with no arms. Fuck you, man. So we have to deal with a lot of prejudice in this game. Here's Cassandra's mum. We told her that her daughter had her neck violently snapped in the attack. And she she let out a wail of grief. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> let's, let's get back into the game. So, guys, we have a number of side missions which involve... Um, busting a dirty undercover police officer who's kind of been involved with some dodgy shit and he's trying to start a turf war between some gangs we're gonna take a little bit of a look at those as long as it's quick and easy for us to do because we are mostly focusing on the main plot of this game so we can crack on and explore this together which means my delicious friends we are going to be following the lead we got from barrett and actually heading over to hengshua court gardens in china very, very soon. But let's see what's going on in Detroit just a little bit more. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing well. So welcome to the mean streets. I doff raise my mug. Cup of tea. I'm plowing through a box of cookies. I'm regretting my choices. Milk kill. If cookies start to make you feel a bit poorly, it means you're not eating enough cookies. Okay. Let's play a mode spam hands. Come on, we got it. We got it. It was just so funny, don't we? <laughs> no, 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 let's not talk about it. Okay, so guys, just a few more cheeky undercover things, including checking out the guy's uh, apartment or picking up some dodgy stuff 45 meters this way. Hmm, okay. Close but no cigar. So, let me actually take a look at how our mission looks over here. Let's just pop in this mode. Cloak and dagger side quest. Locate the gang's hideout. Retrieve the package. The murder weapon he wants me to pick up is laying around trash and debris in a maintenance corridor in front of the Chiron building. Oh, that's my house. Was I just there? Mm. Wait a minute. Uh, am I just going to go up the ladder? Where are... Uh... Wait, am I a bit turned around? It's all the same mission, so it all hey, says S6. But it doesn't necessarily tell me which of which. Okay, 65 meters away? 50 meters away? This must be it. What was around here? But wasn't here before. Never mind. Oh. A crossbow. Okay, we've got the murder weapon. Oh shit. We've got some... Are oh, there some gangbangers in here? One sec. Must have imagined it. Holy shit! I'm gonna fuck this guy up with a box. Oh. Oh, he's just a person. Wait, he's not a gang member. He's just a man walking the streets who happens to have a gun. Oh, they are gang members. Whose gang is this? These aren't DRB crew. These are just more generic... Oh, they're just punks. Just punks living their lives. That's fine. Can we get some Fs in chat for Mikey's e-girlfriend? Yeah, thank you very much. Which one are you talking about? Cassandra? Poor girl. Anyway. 
We are... Let me just look at this map. Locate the gang's hideout, the MCB gang. Right, that's the other gang. DRB we weapons cache, I've still not found that. And O'Malley's apartment. So, uh, which one's nearest? 128 meters, 109 meters. Okay, let's jog it in over here. Where does this take me? I think I need to go round to the other side. Let me just have a quick look on the map. Hmm. I've got to get all the way up there, huh? What building is that? If it's so high up, it's the downtown apartments. Oh, okay. It's literally the one in front of me. I get it. Can I go through a grate down here? Goddamn auto cloaks, pain in the ass. Yeah, okay, great. That's very convenient. That would have been taken me ages otherwise. Just up there, my friends. Let's investigate. And her name was Cassandra. Zang. Todge, that is a great reference. Get yourself a can of Coke for that one. Whoa, Dreamweaver. How can I get in and take you through the night? I will take that stopworm software. She will be mine. Oh, yes. She will be mine. Mmm. Mmm. Five meters up, but we can sneak in this level instead. Okay, we're kind of breaking and entering a little bit now. Them zero cats is gonna get popped if they keep trying to tag over my shit. Oh yeah? How so? Got me a Hurricane TMP-18 from Surat. Whoa. That's sick shit, man. I didn't know Surat carried those. Double T cut him a break on his rent, so he brought some in just for us. Turns out apartments in this dump ain't exactly cheap. Get yourself a can of coke for knowing that shit. Yeah. That was a great reference drop. One of the best ones so far. Okay, so these are the other gang. And they're operating out of an apartment complex. Now, I might be able to talk to these people. So I'm going to put my gun away. And just walk nice and slow. Non-threateningly. That's far enough. Leave quietly and you won't get hurt. Good talk. Good talk. So, what if I use my powers of wall punching? Oh! <laughs> I, just broke, I just broke the shit out of that guy's neck. Holy shit. Okay, that other guy's heading towards me. Uh, allow me to have uh, uh, combat rifle ready. Let's go invisible. Oh. Run, you bastard. oh, that invisibility is great. It's too late to run. Whoa! Okay, okay. New gun, new gun, new gun. Uh, Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. Painkillers really quickly. That should just up my health. And this one. And then let's get the shotgun out really quickly. Run, you bastard. Can I kill him? I might do a murder if he gets near. No. Ooh. Nice. That invisibility was very useful because I kind of put myself in the wrong corner. They've got beer. Is that a grenade? Concussion grenades. <gasps> oh, tranquilizer darts. No, 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 no. Let me drop them. I'm here to murder. 
Actually, I'll hold on to them for now, seeing as I pick them up. But if my inventory gets full, then I'll drop them. Fucking hell. No mercy. Strike first and strike hard. Absolutely. But uh, I was not expecting to insta-murder a guy. That's why we need the looking through walls um, prosthetic add-on. Money, money, money. Thank you, gang leader, money. I'll take all your money. Did one of these guys have a new gun? Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not picking up their 10 mil pistols at the moment. It's not quite necessary. Let me just quickly reload this whilst we're here. Oh, it's clean out of ammunition. Not to worry. I'll stick with uh, Captain Shotty. Credit chip. Stop software. And an opportunity to hack. Let's get some information, my friends. We got this. 25%. I love it. Lowering our... Um... Actually, do you know what? Should we do it again? I've got another practice point. Let's make ourselves... even more undetectable like really smash it so on my uh, prosthesis rooney stealth hacking upgrade again nice now let's have a go Fifteen percent chance. Lovely. Good. Good. Oh, mate, mate, come on. We got time, but it's just a bit of a long journey. These ones are a bit slow. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Stop, 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 stop. Use the stop, use the stop, use the stop. Oh. Come on, hack, 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 hack quickly. How long does that stop work for? Fuck, 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 fuck. Denied. Okay, I've got to wait for that to cool down now. Let's look at the rest of the apartment whilst we do so. Hmm. Humanity front. Speaking from the tarmac at Wayne County Airport, Taggart called the attacks an extremely regrettable affair. I'd very much like to meet with David Seraph in person to offer my deepest sympathies and mm. assure him that these attacks... Do you guys remember him from last episode? Uh, is there something behind the fridge? No, I'm just ruining your day. Okay, guys, let's try hacking one more time. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang. Oh man, I'm awake now. I can't believe you got that reference. That is deep reference territory. I am impressed. <laughs> hey, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Uh, yeah, I, d I don't know how I got it, man. You just, I saw that drop and I knew exactly what it was. Like instantly, I knew it. Uh, yeah, high fives. High fives across the interwebs. All right, let's go hacking again. This time better. That, look, that was a 15% chance of uh, getting alerted. That was just really poor odds. So I'm not going to use a nuke just yet. Come on. 15% chance. Come on. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Use a stop. Hack. I have to use all my goodies now, you see. I'm being a bit more direct this time. Access granted. Okay. Reeve and Europazine. I know we're low. Tyndall always comes through like before. He'll come through now. Stop worrying about my shit and let me handle it. Hey, we're almost out of MPZ over here, cuz. Is your boy Tyndall isn't holding out? Stay the fuck away from ballers until we find out more about what kind of weapons they have. Limb protest. Hmm. Interesting. So, Tyndall was just like, I'm giving away the neuropazine to help people who need it. 
And we were kind of like, yeah, I kind of hate Big Pharma, so yeah. But he was also working directly with the gangs, so how much was he telling the truth and how much was he lying? Also, has anybody seen this incredible clip on Twitter? And I'm assuming it's um, someone, it's either like some form of court or some form of government audit. And this lady speaking to like um, one of the CEOs of a big pharma company. And she's lit she's got a whiteboard and she's writing out like all of the numbers, like how much his bonus was, how much money he made in a year. And she was writing out how this dude, um, the drug didn't get any better. Patients weren't getting any better. There were no improvements clinically. But the CEO raised the cost of this drug by three times the amount because it helped him earn 13 million as a, in a single year as part of his bonuses or something. Like he made an extra $500,000 by tripling the price of a drug just because it like increased his bonus. And she's literally just calling out this guy on all of it, man. But uh, that's, uh, that's how that big farmer vibe be. Not the best human beings in the world. Anyway. Shit, you're live. Yes, that's him. How you doing, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? Lovely to see you. It's like when you catch the eyes of somebody randomly on a train or something, and you both just have a few seconds where you know you're thinking the exact same thing and smile. It's all that passes between you. It's next level how good that was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I felt it. I felt it. Why the hell do I have two PlayStation ads in a row? I just want to watch Mikey play a game. Dude, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's Twitch. Um, I've set my stream, man, to have the least amount of adverts possible. But Twitch will not allow us to turn them off completely. Because Twitch wants their money. Um, so, dude, you get hit with random adverts. I'm sorry about that. Do you want to... Guess what? The only way I can stop that from happening is by forcing an advert on you right now. I can manually play an advert and that reduces the amount of random adverts that come afterwards. But there's no way out. How to stop adverts? By playing adverts. Oh, thanks, Twitch. I'd sure hate to be in the middle of a conversation with you guys and then the right get idea. to the end of a conversation where we all hear and understand each other. No, I'd rather that you might randomly just be blocked into an advert in the middle of me answering something. Thanks a lot. Now, they're nowhere near as bad as Big Pharma, but, you know, I'm not in love with them. Shall I break into someone's house for fun? I'm getting a bit hack happy, aren't I? Hey, 30% detection chance. What about this one? 15, but it's a big zigzag. Oh, that's a bit tight. That's a bit tight. That's a bit tight. Fuck! Access denied. Hmm. Sleep safe for now. Knock, knock. The wolves are at the door, piggy. Okay, whoever lives there, you're lucky. Up. Oh, this is for secret gun dealer. I get a good rate with him because I help some lovely people. Hello, man. You want to buy or sell something? It's all on the computer. What do you want? I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Hey! <laughs> um, I want a Praxis kit. Does he have one of those? Remote detonated explosive device. <gasps> Ooh, that's way more useful than a mine. Mmm. A silencer! Yes, yes. Absolutely. Well, let's buy one of each. Done. Nice. I'm going to modify one of my weapons with that silencer. I'm not... Oh, hello. What a... What kind of business are you operating? Anyway, nice to meet you guys. Have a good day. Better shut that door. Okay, guys. Let's get out of here. We've done really, really well. We've just got to get our sweet selves 40 meters down in that direction. I'm assuming 
using the window. Apparently there's no front door to this apartment complex. Oh, 43 meters around the other side of the building. Nah, we should be able to make that. We'll be fine. Oh, God. I completely forgot to um set our timer. I'll just set it to an hour and a half. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Microsoft timer, you are the worst thing. You are the worst of all the timers, Microsoft timer. I want you to know that. Here we go. I've literally never actually used the mines. Also, hello. Hey, Dime Cadmian. How you doing, man? Yeah, do you know what? There's, we heard a few people pop out of Lurk who um, usually just, you know, aren't into chatting, which is totally fine. But it looks like, looks like a number of you have played this game before in your past. Uh, so you're all popping out of little bits of info. I love it. I do love it. Weaponry. I want to put the silencer on my machine gun pistol. Or I could put it on the shotgun like uh, that La Lafayette guy from uh, No Country for Old Men. Wait, where even is the silencer? Oh, it's in a box. Combine. Oh, I can only do it with the old combat rifle. Fine by me. It's taken up a bit more space, but that's a badass gun. I want to increase its damage still. Hmm. There's only one more item I can use on it. I don't know what that other one is. Anyway, I like it. Discarding Sabo Flechettes. Flechettes? Flechettes. Flechettes? You know what I'm saying. Am I saying that correctly? It's a slug thrower. Whatever you want. So, let's make our way over here. And we're going to wrap up one of our side missions and then probably give the info over to the undercover um, prostitute. No, she's an undercover police woman, not an undercover prostitute. Sally Wansuck had to go undercover as a police officer in the local Metro PD. They're on to me. Excuse me, officers, your heels are extremely clear. Go, go, go. Right, let's sneak into another man's house. This is my vibe. I should be a thief. Microsoft Timer will be filling out on its circuit boards after our experiment with um, Randomly Annoying. <sighs> anyway. Oh, this is a pretty easy hack. What's my percentage? Come on, don't set off the alarms. It's so low. Come on. Thank you. Ooh, let's go up here. Little something something. Hmm. Data store. We got a stopworm. Fantastic. Access granted. Hello. I love fucking up people's fridges in this game. Just come home and your fridge is on its side somewhere. Oh, for fuck's sakes. They didn't even take anything. They just threw my fridge. Oh, wait a minute. What's the other part of that story? No, that's old news. All that hostage Sarah stuff we did at the start of the game. Pocket secretary. These are the lodgings you'll occupy for the duration of this operation. You will notice a door with a security lock on it. 1029. Whenever you receive a special delivery, it will be left for you inside that room. <gasps> oh, 1029. Oh, that's a mine. That's an explosive device. Oh, so I'm assuming that box is for package. What do I do about mines? How do I deal with explosive mines? Is it on that computer, do you reckon? Let me just save the game. I think I can sneak in just enough to get on the computer. But just in case I blow myself up. 
Damn, <laughs> can't have anything in Detroit. Motherfuckers through my fridge. Can't have anything. What was the original one? It's like motherfuckers stole my porch. <laughs> like literally, a guy's porch got stolen. Explosive mimes. Oh yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm not very good at my pronunciation. I get shit from you guys all the time. What was the other one? Code Code Geass. Just but I say Code Geese. Okay, we're not using a computer, but that also completely solved the entire situation. So I'm happy with Viva. A package of drugs. Why, thank you very much. Oh, that's not it. Oh, crossbow arrows to go with my new crossbow. Oh. I think that crossbow is a borderline one hit silent kill. So, uh, yes. Let's hack this household's computer. Lovely. That should do it. Oh, shit! That should do it. Access granted. Thank you. Security gate updates. Yep, the code's 0002. Sam fucked up. Hey, boss, Sam... Hey boss, Sam really fucked up this time. We told him, we told him to keep it cool and that you come with a clean solution, but you know him, with his crazy ass temper. Said there wasn't a risk. He was covered and whatnot. He went straight to Big Ben's corner and iced him in the middle of the goddamn street. He said it was deserted, but I've heard through some of my personal channels that a local dealer might have witnessed all of it. I'll hit you back once I know who he is and what he knows. This is big boss, if they ever get to Sam, you know he'll talk. We have to deal with the situation now. Hello, Jack. As you know, the situation for gangs has become somewhat of an issue. Just like rats, these scum are slowly burrowing their way closer and closer to our Highland Park facility. The facility. I've been told you are the man who's assigned to resolve this situation. I'm sure you understand the importance and delicacy of what we built here and why it needs to be protected. That's why, as uncomfortable as it is, I have to ask you to act quickly. We are getting dangerously close and this could be a major setback. You know how this organization feels in regard to public exposure and failure. Fuck. That's why the crooked police officer is hiring me to start a war between the two gangs. Because it's going to distract them from finding out what's in Highland Park. I.e. the illegal FEMA internment um, camp that we've, we're in last time. <clears throat> yeah, I could have um, I could have thrown this box. That would have been much smarter. You all have better IQs than me. Well done. Oh! The Blue Water Scandal. In 2011, Blue Water Global, the worldwide leader amongst the PMCs, PMCs? Became the subject of a scandal that altered the landscape of the military contracting community. On the heels of accusations of wrongdoing by its employees in Afghanistan, a journalist with the Sentai Shimbun captured images of BG staff engaging in clandestine dealings with insurgents, apparently aimed at prolonging elements of the conflict. If you sell guns, you have to start wars. The outcry that followed sent shockwaves through the PMC business. Within a year, congressional hearings and a massive fall in shareholder confidence sounded the death knell for Blue Water. Public sentiment turned against the PMCs. Private mercenary corporation, got it. Um, but the need for them was still very immediate. Sensing an opportunity, Roger St. Jean Folks, founder and CEO of Bellwater Associates, filled the power vacuum. Bell Tower's untarnished image worked in the corporation's favor, beginning a rise that took it to the top of the industry. Is that, are these black ops mercs? They're Bellwater, right? The ones that have been doing the attacks? Hmm. I'll shut the door. He'll never know I was here, except for the explosives. Okay, guys. That's our other side mission done. I think I just need to go talk to the prostitute, really, to wrap that up. You know how it be. Yeah, I've done all the things. Oh, the weapon cache. Can I just not do the weapon cache? 
I'm going to go talk to the prostitute. Maybe she'll just let me off the hook for that last bit. It would be nice to get that closure if we're going to go to China. But if we don't get that closure, I don't care. We're going to China anyway. Now, she's a prostitute near my flat at the Chiron building, right? Now, before we do that, I need a wee. I'm bursting. BRB, you lovely people. 20 seconds. Oh, spam hands. Thank you. Yeah, I just saw that. I just saw that. I, I managed to work it out, but yeah. Wait a minute. I'm just looking at chat. Jediah. Wait, Jediah. I'm, hey, Jem, come on. So, oh, I've just run up the stairs. I'm tired. Not tired, short of breath. <laughs> so, no, I don't know. The sex worker, I don't owe her any money. You always, always pay a prostitute first. If you really don't want to let her keep the money, then what you're supposed to do is when you're done and you've had your fun and you need to put your clothes on as quickly as possible... You grab all of her clothes in a bundle, knickers and everything, and you throw it out the window, and then you leave. Because she can't chase you. But, um, no, you still have to pay her first, even if you steal it back afterwards. Uh, so no, I don't owe anybody any money in this game. Also, uh, oh, you've got a cup of tea, nice one. No coughing up the green to a sex worker. Bad to paddling. So guys, I, um, I watched just a YouTube clip. And it was some of the beginning to the Equalizer. Has anybody seen the Equalizer? With the guy who always plays himself. He's great, but he always plays himself. The exact same character. It's underneath one of the broken buildings. Oh, it's in the sewers, huh? Okay, we might go into the sewers. Basically, I like a... I, I'm pretty sure it's like an old man's fantasy film. For reals. Because, like, it's got... Who's that actress who's incredibly beautiful? But, um... She hasn't necessarily been in particularly good films. Uh, she played a... She played a girl in Kick-Ass, I think? I want to say... Sophia Grace Mortez or something? 
but you know she plays a young prostitute with a heart of gold and um denzel denzel washington and my boy denzel is like you know the older man who sees the good in her and he's gonna take her under his i'm gonna take you away from all of this you know old man in his late 30s early 40s hello with a hot young 18 year old something prostitute turned straight i'll take you under my wing and under my duvet and it's like i remember just watching it like the intro i was just like wow this this feels like a very out of date story do you know what i mean it just felt weirdly out of date so i think it might be a power fantasy movie for people in their 40s like me uh, so i'm gonna get involved well i'm almost there chloe grace mortez thank you perfect you mean denzel washington denzel yeah so don't get me wrong i love denzel in man on fire from what i remember that is a fucking hell of a film but then i realized every single other film that i watch denzel washington plays the exact same character do you know what i mean he is lit it's just him it's just denzel He's technically an actor, but I don't think he's acting. I think he's just talking. He knows what his lines are, but he's never like another character. <clears throat> that was a really grim detail in San Andreas. You could go to a prostitute, have fun, and then slit her throat to get the money back. Oh, lovely. Thanks, Todge. Can't wait to play this online, GTA 5. They're shit compared to the Edward Woodward equalizer. They kind of miss the point of the equaliser as a visual concept. I'll have to look into that. Edward Woodward, wasn't he a famously terrible director? Or am I thinking of something else? No, not typecasted. No, and that's the thing. Denzel is great. But he's not type... So this is, this is what I'm talking about. I don't feel that he's typecasted for one particular type of character. I think every role that he's given, he is just doesn't know how to be another character. Hitmen, assassins, fathers, police officers. He always plays roles where he plays a fairly intelligent man. Do you know what I mean? Who's got a very um, good vocabulary. He's very verbose. He's usually the smartest person in a scene. But he's always the same person. Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for catch-up time with Mikey whilst I enjoyed some tea. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm so ready to murder people. Let's put the gun away. Where's my prostitute friend? Near my house. Oh mm, god. Oh, I think I need to go through the tube again, don't I? Oh, the DB, the DRB weapon cache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DRB weapon cache. You said it was underneath one of the buildings. One dimensional. Yes, Steve. Okay. Let's wrap up this weapon cache thing because it's just the last outlying side quests we've got to do. It's not even a quest. It's one thing to wrap up the quest. And that is Derelict Row. So, Tutor Demo, I know you're lurking, but um, it was somewhere here in Derelict Row, somewhere under one of the buildings. So, that's where I'm going to go. Yo, Pinchy! Pinchy has used her Twitch Prime and subscribed for the free months. Pinchy, hello there. Thank you so much. I'm going to use this as a quick opportunity to remind you delicious people. Remember, you never have to do anything around here. It's not that kind of stream. Lurking is absolutely fine, and I love lurkers. Um, but like Pinchy has done, I hope you guys are all aware and all remember that if you have Amazon Prime, that comes with a free Twitch Prime subscription. Just for having Amazon Prime, you can sub to me for free. Still helps me out. And it still means you can get into my subs only discord as a full-on citizen and download my art for free that's right costing you nothing you can sign up for a free trial of amazon prime if you don't already have it so even that doesn't cost you link it to twitch sub for free with prime winner winner chicken dinner you download my art and you get all the other benefits dude thank you so much for the free months pinchy lovely to have you and also extra bonus pinchy you are in with a chance to win this month's tablet giveaway. We're doing a subs tablet giveaway at the end of month. It's one year since we did the cursed tablet one. You could win a Gaumon WH850, possibly wireless drawing tablet, um, which I just opened. I haven't even opened this box. It's a little, the box is a little bit beaten. You'll have to excuse that. It went through customs. Um, but yeah, win yourself a drawing tablet just for being subs. Mate, win-win. 
So again, that's not really the hard sell. It kind of is a hard sell, but I'm not trying to force you guys. I just want to remind you guys, if that makes sense. Because some of you guys might not be aware that you have a free prime right now. So use it. Anyway, thank you so much for the resub. Where am I? Okay, I've got to go through the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to go back through the... Wait a minute, which way's north? I think it's round the subways again. I'm so sorry. Subways and DRB. They want an excuse to exact martial law and split this country up. Keep it down, pal. That's a little bit too real. Weren't people saying that about the um, Black Lives Matter stuff recently? William Taggart. No better, the myth of human augmentation. Hmm. Where does this go? Where, where am I going? The Detroit Convention Center? Wow, the entrance to the convention center is just like... Some shithole alley. Man, even in the cyber future, Detroit really gets a bad rap. It really does. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, here we go. The monorail, I should say. I keep calling it the metro. No! Not for cursed tablets! Do you remember? Three times I had to give that, to give that away. away. Yeah, so tablet giveaway, guys. Tablet giveaway this month. I'm going to, um, I'll tweet a tweet uh, on Twitter after we play today. But yeah, good times. The alley is faster. Oh, fuck. Pale, sorry, I missed that. Yeah, part of the point of me getting the leg upgrade so that I could jump over stuff was so that we could take these shorter routes. But I'm still doing the long one right now. That's my bad. Eliza Kassan, on air. She is the face of the media. The Pikus Network. Uh, DBZ? Back to derelict, my friend. I guess you can derelict my ass. It's a good thing I beat them all up. She's just a cheeky prosa. That's oh, a hobo. Actually thinks augmentations are going to help me. Oh, secret storage container. Level 3 security. Oh, this is interesting. 30% detection. Let's risk it for a biscuit. Hmm. I'm going to do a cheeky uh, nuke on this one. And then let's see if this one sneaks through. That's fine. It costs us no time to do that, so we're okay. Access granted. Ooh. Ooh, credit chips. I now have 2,700 credits. I mean, like 2,800s. Oh. Couple of pistols. Is that all? Ammo. Uh, don't really need it, but more important, La. Another remote detonated explosive. Yes. Let's put this in here. What is this? Oh, I don't need them, but can I take ammo from them? Shotgun cartridges. Machine pistols. I'm not going to pick up one of those for the moment. Okay, so that wasn't it, but that was also interesting to find. Their ganger cache. Cheeky brother. Oh, a cheeky brother. Cool, blimey, governor. Get your old Union Jack out. Spidey suit on. Oh, yeah. Cheeky brother, mate. All right. Let's keep an eye out then, friends. We are looking for a, a weapons. Oh, wait. Was that the weapons cache? 
Have I just done it? Do you know what? <laughs> I think we might have just done it. <laughs> One sec. No, that wasn't it. For a second, I was almost convinced. That looked very weapony. All right, we're going to keep searching. For a split second, my genius had almost outshone me. Okay, right, let's go in and have a good old hunt around. It's in some of these bullshit buildings. I like how the other gang was smart enough to be like, look, let's make our hideout in some nice apartment complex so that we have a fridge and a couch. These assholes are just like, why don't we just occupy this shithole factory space? It's like the episode of The Simpsons where um, Bart goes to uh, one of those court haggle places. And he buys like a he buys a factory for a dollar or something. Hello, you're the night watchman now, Millhouse. So it's all led to this. Bart. Okay, weapons cash, guys. Eyes open. Those were not words. Uh, gem. That was English, Gem. What I just I just spoke the true Queen's English, thank you very much. It's how British people communicate when we're in front of Americans, but we need to keep our secrets. Ooh, but I'm Canadian Scottish, Mikey, I'm not an American. I know, calm down. Millhouse gets a taste of the real world in that episode. He does. <laughs> I love how he's just like Still, I turned out better than my father. I was <laughs> just like, fuck. Millhouse, mate. Okay, so this is like the derelict area. Burn it. Burn it. Hmm. Secret access to somewhere? I think this just leads equally to the same derelict. I think we've been up and down here before. I'm assuming. Oh. Oh? Hello. What I want to know is where the hell is the Silva getting all this stuff? I don't know. Some Irish guy. That's it. Some stranger officer keeps supplying us with enough firepower to take out a small army, and all you know is he talks funny? There ain't no such thing as a free lunch, you know. What does this guy want in return? Who cares? All I know is, that sneak-in job we've been waiting to do for ages, this mech is getting us the perfect weapon for it. So keep your mouth shut, and don't blow it for us. Oh, shit. The corrupt officer's been supplying the gangs on behalf of the Black Ops Bellwater group. Fuck. <clears throat> but I love a bit of received pronunciation. Wait, what? You need the AP upgrade for the pistol. Oh, I've been... Dude, oh... I'm going to cloak myself in a minute. I'll do a cloak and drop. I've been upgrading the shit out of my um, machine gun. The one I've got no ammo for right now. It's silenced. It's powerful. That is a massive silencer. But right now I'm doing a shotgun Henry. Just letting my uh, battery charge up over here. Okay. No joke cloak. Hey. Anyone there? Who's there? Oh, I don't have energy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I f in my head, I was going to cloak and do a takedown. 
but it uses up the same battery energy and I didn't have it available. That's my fault. Never mind, never mind. There's no free lunch, but there are free bullets. Indeed, I gave him all of mine. Pocket secretary. No, don't do that. Here's the code for the locked door. Only people who are allowed in know what that code are. 3290. Hmm. Ooh. Rockets! Rockets! Rocket launcher! Aww. How much space do I need to hold a rocket launcher? Let's get rid of these tranquilizer darts. There's no way I'm going to have enough rocket launcher space. Crossbow arrows? Boo. I'll leave the rocket launcher for now. It's a bit, a bit suspicious if I walk around with one of those, isn't it? Where um? Oh, down here. Wait, where? Oh, here we go. So where does this lead? Can go out that window. Where is this? You're just hobos. You meet all types in this city. So I think Tutor Demo is saying that it's not underground. So I'm not gonna go down there. Those hobos kind of indicate that I've come out of the territory a bit. So let's try this window. So that's where I murdered loads of people. No, this doesn't take me anywhere. Rangos, hello dude, how you doing man? Welcome back. I'm um, just looking for a secret weapons cache. I guess it might be in one of the containers. It's somewhere here in the DRB territory. Let me just go back here a sec. There's no other way in or out of this room, is there? Other than the vent. Maybe I will go down there. It's underneath a broken building. Oh! This actual this thing here. Okay. Nice one, dude. Nice one, dude. Frag grenades. Yeah. I want actual murder grenades. Ammo upgrade. All right, all right. One sec. Let's uh, let's create a bit of space and let's get that ammo upgrade in for a start. Upgrade kit. Ammo capacity upgrade. Now, where did I put my nice guns? I'll add this to the old uh, machine gun. Nice. Get the shotgun back. Frag grenade. Thank you. We've done it. We've done it. Look at that. That's nice. We've done it, everybody. Nice one to you today, Mo. Thanks for the nudge. I appreciate that. I would have been... I would have taken ages, man. Guys, we've done it. We've done all of our side quests. We're just going to go back and report this to our prostitute. But we are free and easy, my friends. And now... I'm going to get ready to go to China. China, 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 China. I know China. I've got very big friends in China. I'm one of the best people at dealing with China. <coughs> What's that? Oh, no. COVID. I wonder how those crazy wax at QAnon are going to uh, fold the Trump has COVID into their 
mindfuck narrative. Am I going, uh, I am going here. Let's put this away. Right, guys, GG. Pat's on the back all round. Let's report in and wrap up. With any luck, get some practice. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. My guys got their hands on Double T, and you identified the shipment. Apparently you weren't so subtle with the last part, but hey, at least the job is done. What else you got? Um, do you want this crossbow? Oh, I can keep it. <gasps> I can keep the crossbow. I think we're keeping a little something something for myself. O'Malley never mentioned any weapon. He just wanted the witness dead. Just wanted the witness dead, huh? All right. Well, I've got enough evidence against O'Malley anyway. Let's just hope it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Right, Jensen? I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. I paid a little B and E visit to O'Malley's apartment. I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Great work. Found something else? I managed to hack into his personal account. I think you might want to check any connection O'Malley has with FEMA. There's definitely something going on there. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? No, that about covers it. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. God mood engaged. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? Nope. I came for the money. The rest is your problem. I don't work for the police anymore. I think it's best if you make the arrest yourself. Wouldn't want to steal your thunder. That's all right, Jensen. You've done more than enough. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? Good luck with... Well, whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days. Ooh. You know, seeing as you're playing the role of an undercover prosa, we could, uh... We could go and make it really convincing, you know what I'm saying? If you like me, I like you. You've earned a trophy, cloak and daggers. Guys! We lied about the crossbow. We get to keep the crossbow. Chip, 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 chip. Rangos Cuban, how are you doing, by the way? Uh, I'm losing my mind over online classes. Dude, is that for school stroke college stuff? Or is this for your Chinese studies? You don't like speaking English? Oh. Well, Rangos Cuban, you kind of have to around here. I know you like to flex your Chinese. But you can't spam my chat with um, Mandarin all the time, dude. I don't massively appreciate it as much as you love it. All right, friends. Where next? Where next? Uh... China. That's it. China, China, China. Okay. Let's go back to Seraph HQ, my delicious friends. Can I cut through here? Can I cut through for prostitutes? Oh, we've done it, guys. Great work. Hats on backs. Oh, no, that's a dead end. Oh, no, no, no. That's for crawl through the hole. I just love cutting through a crawl space in a dingy part of Detroit. I feel so good about doing this. I think you should lose self-esteem every time you have to do this bit. Just because you're too lazy to go around the street. Is nobody going to clear up these bodies? You'd think the police, after all this time, would eventually come with a coroner and actually do something about the trail of bodies. But I guess on the mean back streets of Detroit, nobody cares. Hello. Lies. All right. Hey, Torch. Welcome back. Torch, we wrapped it all up. I found the stash, thanks to some advice. Uh, and we wrapped up our mission, so we're going to China. Schoolwork. Chinese is put on hold. Fair dues. 
Uh, am I near the... Okay, guys, I'm going to go to the limb clinic first. Just to make sure I can't buy another Praxis kit. Never hurts to have a look. And then we're going to use our upgrades. Because I've made so much money since the last time we were here. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I reduced the amount of echo. Because when we're reading the books and stuff, I want a bit of echo so you know it's reading time. But um, I think the echo is laid on a bit too thick. Too much echo, too much reverb. So, Link. Link. Bravest warrior. You have proven your worth. So now the echo is not quite so intense. And we still got this one. Hello? 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 But for our reading echo, you know, I want you to actually be able to hear what we're saying and communicate. Welcome to Lim International. Lim International. Thank you. Look at this waiting room. But there was violence, right? The police did physically strike some of the protesters, right? Can I actually go in here? Oh! Some people were shoved under the shield, and the cops had to shove back. I've never been under any shield before. Am I allowed to do this? Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? Uh, more or less. I know it sounds a little hair raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? It gets done through your IV needle. You'll be asked to count backwards, and the next thing you know, you'll be opening your eyes, and the procedure will be over. What's wow. going on here? Will I dream? Not while you're under, but you might afterward as you wake up. Will I dream? These people. This doctor. Why? What do I mean to them? What have they done to me? I saw the news this evening. Am I to assume that Seraph has you running around getting shot at again? It's my job to get shot at. It's his to tell me when. Does he feel your pain for you, too? He pays for my insurance, so I guess he does. <laughs> he pays for many good things. Answers. This clinic, for example, could not operate nearly as well as it does without the financial generosity of our corporate sponsors. David Seraph being one of them. The same can be said of every limb facility worldwide. You trying to tell me something, Doc? Only that everybody, myself included, can be made vulnerable to suggestion if certain pressures are applied. As your doctor, I hope you will remember that the decision to undergo neuroprosthetic surgery must always be your own. I'll keep that in mind. I sincerely hope you do. What is she trying to tell me? Does she know something about my arms? Very interesting. This is my favorite background music in the whole game. It's just lovely and atmospheric. Excuse me. Will you be purchasing anything today? Typhoon. I love how I can buy explosive ammunition at the hospital. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe next time. See you then. No practice kits, however, my delicious friends. We've earned plenty of practice points regardless. So, what should we upgrade? Oh, I only have one. Oh, um, boo. Um. Energy converter. Grants additional energy cells and speeds up energy recovery. I might do this, guys, because that cloak saps my energy. And my takedowns also use a battery cell. Grants one extra energy cell. Speeds up energy recharge. Oh, one more cell. One more cell. Dr. Chetri, call 217. See that just there? Free batteries. Okay, let's go to Seraph HQ, guys. Yeah, do you know what? Like, I was really... Back when we first started playing this game in our Let's Play series, um, I remembered a bit through Rose Tinted Glasses, but I did quite enjoy it. But the problem was is that we played so many nice, good, fluid gun games since then, especially like Doom 2016, but playing this was a shooting nightmare. And my controller's a bit jank. But um, 
now that we're not focusing on a shooting and we are focusing on all the plot and stuff, it's kind of all coming back to me. Yeah, this is quite an enjoyable game. It's got a lot of interesting things going on. You do want to kind of like give this a go and engage with it if you can. Okay, quickest way back to Sarif HQ is... According to the map. Oh, just here and turn right. Lovely. Oh, is it follow the road or go up, go up the tube? Follow the road. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, back to work. Business calls for me. Which one of these towers is Sarif in? And what's the other tower for? I wonder. And why there's no sky bridge? Why you not use MSG? Nobody won't come eat your rice with no MSG. Extreme Echo. Yeah, that's what it's for. Mate, come back to chat when you're done playing for the evening. I've got something to ask you about in here. Oh, sorry, Todge. Todge, anything you'd like to ask me? Lizard, you lovely human being. I just wanted to stop by and say hello to all of you lovely people. Hope your day is great. Lizard, thank you very much for popping your sweet head in. And your pretty, pretty face. Hope you have a lovely day. Yeah, no, thanks for just saying hello. It's always nice to touch bases. Um, I'm gonna come lurk up in your business. Lizard, I was watching another streamer do some jigsaw today, and I was just like, man, that puzzles, huh? That puzzle vibe is coming out. Lizard, have you ever done it? No, I'm gonna leave you alone. One last question. Lizard, have you ever done a jigsaw puzzle where the pieces are in... It's not like a spiral, but it's concentric rings? And the puzzle's like a big circle? Anyway. It was... I was just like, oh, that's interesting. I need to know. I want to see. Oh, do you want me to tell you which streamer it was? It was Casey. Uh, C-A-S-E-Y. She's a um, illustrator, professional illustrator stroke graphic designer. But she was doing a puzzle stream. And guess what her puzzle was? You'll never guess. It's so topical. Her puzzle picture was a fucking unicorn. It wasn't this picture. But it was another unicorn. We've been so unicorn specifically heavy in the last few days. I, I, is it called serendipity? Anyway. I think it's... it's is it C-A-S-E-Y? It might just be C-A-S-Y. Try C... Yeah, who's this? Alright, let me... Okay, I, I might not be helping. Let me um look at my follow list really quickly, Lizard. I'll hit you up. Oh my god, give me 10 to 15 minutes of scrolling. There's probably like an underscore somewhere or something annoying. Man, she was, I, I can't see all of my follows. You can only open the people you follow so far. Let me use my search. Oh, you found her. Uh. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Serendipity is for words. Bam, thank you very much for the um, backup. Cheers. Oh, Eva's done it. Yeah, that's her. Nailed it. Thank you, Eva. Anyway, yeah, you know, I just thought that might be down your alley. Okay, you lovely people. Lizard, have a lovely day. Eva, thank you very much for lurking and stepping up when I need you. I'll be there. I'll be there. Whenever you need. When I need modding. I'll be there. I'm your there. Ever and always modding my stream. Hey Jensen. Anyway. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Some people there. moderate three, in the darkness. In the Some stage. people the moderate the live stream. You ready to go? Whether it's art or whether it's gaming, I'm checking the chat is kept clean. Whoa, I'll be there, I'll be there, moderating your stream, moderating your stream, I'll be there. Any sorry. I felt like I didn't quite hit, hit the notes the first time. I had to give it a round two. I'm really sorry. 
Guys, we're going to go to China. On behalf of my boss, we need to investigate. Interesting. Eva and always. I could have said Eva and always. I'll, um, after stream, I'll, uh, anyway. For Eva and always. In here, your stream. Something like that. Anyway. Warning, unfinished side quests will be cancelled if you leave. We've done them. I thought I was. How long is this going to take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry. We'll be there before you know it. Climb in. I really like Malik. I think we're going to come back from China and be fine. Oh no, that quote. All right, guys, this is going very well. We have done, but it's, guys, so the landscape of Detroit is going to be a bit changed when we come back. No spoils, but let's just, let's just say this game is interesting and it evolves. Um, so now we are in China and we're essentially in part two of the game. This game is split into four parts, really plus a fifth part, which has been added into the Ultimate Edition, which is like its own isolated story that you have to do. So we are, we've smashed part one. We are now entering part two. Interesting. Interesting. China has a long memory, Mr. Bauer. Do you remember, not only, not only did Jack Bauer get shanghai I think it's at the end of season four. The name of the ship that he gets put on is literally the Shanghai. I remember laughing my ass off at that. I was like, good. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens. It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. Welcome to chapter two, my friends. I don't know how legal my presence here is. Uh, this whole area is rife with side missions, guys. We will be trying to focus on the main plot for the sake of, you know, living our lives. Get cancelled, Mikey. Yeah. Yeah, possibly five. Audrey! Because of watching Anchorman and him shouting Audrey... Every single time Audrey was mentioned or came on screen in 24, I'd convulsively just shout at the TV, Audrey! All right, where are we going, my friends? Welcome to Shanghai. Hey, American. Go Yankees. You want good time? Go to the high. You want better time? Find the Honghua. Beautifulest women in Hangzha. Hmm. Stun gun darts. Hmm, will do, madam. Okay, so the address is on my map, somewhere down there, 30 meters away, but let's have a look at China. Am I just entering somebody's back door? Madam? Welcome to Hongsha. Best city in the world. You have nothing like this in America, do you? We do. It's called Midgar in Final Fantasy VII. It's supposed to be a warning and a dystopian nightmare of what corporations can do. But it looks like you've actually turned that into your lives. So bats on the back. Well done. Ooh, hello. Look at those dancing silhouettes. Look how sexy they are at their... 10 frames a second. Mmm. Nothing gets me erect like janky animatics. Let's go over here. Jank yourself to completion. You know what they say. 
Oh, I've entered a different part of the district. Limb clinics are open 24-7 to satisfy your org needs. Oh, frames! <laughs> it's a little something for all of you. It's a little something for the crowd. Here's your loading screen reminder. Do you have Twitch Prime? Do you want to download my artwork for free? Do you want to be in with a chance to win a tablet at the end of a month? All right, let's go. Oh, is this just a nice little terrace? All right. Oh, nice rooftops. What are you doing down here? You slumming? Lower city is dangerous for your tourists. The lower city. I mean, it's such a cool design. It looks fucking incredible. Hey, American. Go Yankees. Okay. You want good time? Go to the high. You have better time. The harvesters. Who are the harvesters? Let me ask you something. You ever heard of a private security force policing a whole city on contract? No one of these bell tower jacks are power tripping. Whoa, the oh I got thought they were trip mines. The entire police force is private. Now where I come from, this is considered rude. But you know, Adam's having a good time. So. Yeah, I'm sorry, I thought this is America. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I'm actually going in the right direction. I'm sort of just pseudo wandering. Well, well, well. This is what you get when you've got the big jump augmentation. Ammo upgrade. Okay, brilliant. Let's let's get involved really quickly. Let's just make some space and then we'll use it. That crossbow is taking up my entire life. Can I use this again on my machine gun for even more ammo? I can. Now I can just unload. I don't actually have any assault rifle ammunition left. Just tranquil. <laughs> I'm upgrading the one gun I can't use right now. But um, I will be using it later. Let's pick that crossbow back up, shall we? Let me make sure that I don't even have it equipped. I want to make sure I've got like a... Yeah, let's get the crossbow actually into my menu. Interesting. Good to know. Is he scared of my crossbow? Oh, he's just drunk. Nice scooter. I quite like... Oh, it's a two-seater. I like that. I like that design. Oh, they're all scared because I had the gun a minute ago. Okay. Where am I going? 64 meters this way. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I think I've just unlocked that from the other side. Where's the bomb? Ryo Matoy. Hello, bear dude. How you doing? How long have you played the game for? I'm not sure if it tells me, actually. Um, I had a look at my save points a while ago, and my saves just tell me the date and time that I've saved the game. It doesn't give me hours. Yeah. Um, I think... I think we've done about, let's say, about four, maybe five episodes. And then this is the second one we're doing today, so it's going to be six so six two hour ish episodes so basically let's say i've put maybe about 10 to 12 hours into the game so far probably not much more than that are you a dodgy man ah a visitor to lower city what do you think of our roof stranger doesn't that create a lovely atmosphere I f sounds like they got Chinese actors, but they got no Chinese 
uh, characters to rig the modeling for. Kalu, how you doing, man? Welcome back, Kalu Konzi. Mike, you need a proper skull for art and dramatics. <gasps> Ashley, I would love a skull to talk to because <laughs> I don't have any friends. A skull will do. I'd quite like that. Oh, this place looks freaking awesome, though. I know I'm walking away, but let's have a look. So this is what it's like under the Sector 7 plate. This game has so many references to Final Fantasy 7. And look at this dude. A, a augmented quadruped? Is that the right term? He's a gang member. Yaro. Huh? It's all bad. Mm, these guys don't fuck around. Sorry, augmented quad quadrupe quadru quadrupedic? Am I saying that correctly? A quadruped is a four-limbed motorbike. But a quadru quadrupedic. Is someone who's lost all limbs. Nobody knows why. I don't care what kind of operation is going on. Now let me in. in. Sorry, pal. No one's allowed in right now. I need to get something in my apartment. Interesting. What if I, I just go in anyway? What kind of operation is going on? Now let me in. I'm going to save the game before I do this. I'm just going to ignore what he said and walk there. Mikey is a waifu. Oh, thanks for saying. I draw waifus to fill the holes. Emotional holes. Uwu, can we can we reduce the amount of uwus in my chat, please? Thank you. <laughs> Can't oblige you, ma'am. Carver no, SL, you've nailed it. So, Carver, this is actually obviously I know what you're saying. This is Cyberpunk 2027, technically. So we're set 50 years before the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077 release. So we're technically playing a prequel. Okay, no one's shooting at me for walking past. I guess I can't walk down there. But this is my objective. Bell Tower is conducting an investigation in this building, sir. No admittance. Looks like I'm gonna Malik, have to sneak in. You might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese? I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. Oh look. My third battery doesn't automatically fill up. Oh, interesting. Now I can just cloak and walk straight in here. But before I do, let's see what our other options are. Maybe uh, something interesting in here? Okay, 30% detection rating. Let's go over here so you can see the whole thing. 50%! Mate, this is a tough hack get here huh i'm gonna nuke this one and then just hack this one hope for the best Ooh, lovely so is there any good nodes that have stuff it's just this one in it oh, it's gonna take its time it's a good thing we haven't been triggered this will probably trigger the alarm though yep no worries Granted. Thank you. Credits. A peps. Oh, this is for peps energy weapon, right? What does this do again? Your inventory is full. What is... This is different. This is different. Sorry. <laughs> Can you see my brain trying to come to terms with stuff? This is different. Different thing. That is, diff that is a different weapon from the stun gun and a different weapon from the electric gun I had earlier. How much? Do you know what? I'm just going to leave it. Oh, man, if it knocks people out now. I'm literally going to leave that right here, guys. And uh, let's just remember that we have an some peps weapon here if we want it later. Let me just go around uh, the edge of this court. Oh. Hello, hello. I bet this question has been asked since you're playing Deus Ex, but how excited are you for Cyberpunk? Riventing, an absolutely fine question. 
Riventing, actually, less than you'd think. Do I really want to play Cyberpunk? Yes. Am I really looking forward to it? Yes. So should the answer be yes? Yes, it should. However, I'm actually avoiding getting worked up for it. Do you know what I mean? We've watched a few of the trailers, but I'm not actually watching all of them. I haven't watched any of those um, YouTube videos where it's like, you know, 40 minutes of gameplay and two hours of gameplay. Because I want to experience it. I don't want to watch it. Um, so, yeah, I am definitely looking forward to it, but I'm not like going nuts. I'm just using it as an opportunity to enjoy some of these things first. So I'm kind of working myself into the whole cyberpunk attitude. Then maybe we'll do some like Ghost in the Shell fan art and um, look at some older 80s cyberpunk uh, anime and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm well up for getting themed about it. So as we go into 2021, we'll just do loads of cyberpunk stuff and ting. But right now, we're keeping it gentle. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. That's it. I'm not, I'm not going nuts. But spam hands is 100% correct. In terms of what I expect from the game, I'm expecting it to be a bloody good game. Definitely, definitely. Gentle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway we can make it like a cyberpunk cyborg demon or kusanagi from ghost in the shell i have no idea like do you know what we're probably going to spend if a character creation screen is too good we're going to spend like four hours in it i need another wee you've made me excited for cyberpunk by asking that question i'm going to be back in 20 seconds guys i'm just going to wet my pants and do a 180 in the chair minute <laughs> what happened what happened i got killed in absentia killed in absentia what did i do i guess i guess you guys know what happened and i don't know what oh my god I only went for a wee no weeing in china Jesus. Oh, where's my face? Holy shit. Ooh, woo, harder. Oh, God. Oh. Mikey died. It's good for you saved. It's just never lower your guard. Never go for a wee. You want some thick Major Matoko riveting. Understood. That was me playing Skate Free. Just three hours of character creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming I was shot to death, was I? <laughs> Next time I go for a wee, I'll do it when I'm in a safer space. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Hey, Exploding Egg. How you doing, man? Yeah, we're just vibing. I need to get something in my apartment. I don't care what kind of operation is going on. Okay. Let me in Let's try this again. Uh... Bell Tower is conducting an investigation mm -hmm. in this building, sir. No admittance. No worries. Malik. You I'm not going to hack that trap. right now. We know what's in there. Venture Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? 
They're the police in Lower Hengshaw, Jensen. Right, seeing as these people killed me, apparently. You think apparently. The Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that. I will kill them back with a crossbow. Oh, they've got good armor. But this crossbow is a silent, silent guy, right? Oh, I see. I'm starting to see how that became a problem. Did I just show, throw both of my packs? Oh, no, here we go. And then... Has that killed anyone? He could be over there. Let's try that again. Oh my god, I keep missing these assholes. Oh that sh oh that crossbow's really good. Oh yo. I'ma die. I'm gonna die, let me tell you why. Oh. I wanna use those crossbows. Those crossbow bolts are our best friend. I'm glad we kept that. Okay guys, this time we know what's going on. Use hacks. Okay, yeah, that crossbow was fucking him up. It pinned the guy to the wall. I forgot about that. We're gonna go in hard, my friends. Hard and quiet. Hashtag front page of Twitch. Hashtag for all the wrong reasons. Hashtag pro gamer. <laughs> Went for a number one, became a number two. Guys, welcome to the front page of Twitch. My name is... We did it, Reddit! We're on the front page. My name is Mikey Mega Mega. It is a pleasure to have you. We are on the front page of Twitch, playing Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Don't double check. Never double check. I went too obvious with aimbot. Crazy shooting. Yeah. We've got it this time now, guys. You can believe in me. You can trust me to be an authentic Maybe winner. There's something in my apartment. Blah blah blah. No. Got it. Now we're gonna kill people. You might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese? I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. Just a little something, something. Nice. Got myself a cheeky little man down. <gasps> in the ass, in the ass, in the ass. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. Did you Did you hear how he died? He didn't go like, ah. He went and shot him in the ass and he went, oh. <laughs> this corpse grinning okay let's fucking do another dude uh, i think uh there's so many people on the map let's keep our eyes open come on we'll do this seriously oh man he definitely sounded different okay that was a bit more normal <laughs> you child it was so funny uh but butt is always a weak point for mikey so uh did you check out those scale color reference picks no, Bojack, no, Bojack. Did you whisper them to me? Bojack, you know how I am with whispers. You you can't just whisper me and I'll read it. You have to keep reminding me. Oh, I think I can sneak out now. Well, oh, there's a dude literally right on the other side of this thing. He's around here somewhere. Oh, fuck. Silent, silent, silent. This is Keep looking. Check, 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 check. did good to get away with that. I've got you covered. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh. He must have come around the other side. My bad. Should we try that again? I'm feeling good about that. Helenthius. Oh, Helenthius. That is nothing compared to some of my quotes. Don't worry. <laughs> Helenthius. That's my safe space of quotes. Okay. Okay, okay. We can do this. Uh, Bojack, I've still yet to fully watch that video link you sent me about 
um, the different generations of designs behind Magic the Gathering cards and stuff. I have it all lined up, but it's finding those moments. Roof entrance. Oh, Chutalemo, we've got another roofie. Mm. I quite like going deep down low. Uh, I feel for what the artist... Oh, Bojack, oh, for your commission. Right, right. Spam hands, we've got you in the mood for gaming. I like it. Have a lovely day, dude. Thank you very much for popping in. Popping your sweet, sweet face to us. Okay, rooftop access. Let's trigger this um, thing. Back away. Malik, you might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. <gasps> you think the Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. Rooftop, rooftop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a bit dodgy. Maybe they don't really care. What's in here? Oh, this is going really well. Oh, wow. Flawless hack. Oh, I can do a through the Woolsey. A ballsy through the Woolsey and a Venti McSneeko. Where's the dude compared to that location? Is he near the wall? No, he's miles away? Where does this vent take me? I mean, let's do this for fun. Just because I can. But where does this lead? Good thing that one universal vent company covered. Oh, we can circumambulate, circumnavigate even higher. Rooftops. Oh, it's a lift. Rooftops, rooftops. Yo, we might be able to cut out loads. What's going on? This is why we have the leg jumping augmentation. It allows us all of this access. Oh, this is getting very interesting. Okay, just checking. Hengsha Court Gardens. <gasps> Fuck, I'm already inside. Oh, no way. We've just gone past all the guards. I was ready to fucking start murdering the shit out of them. Our objective is just 22 meters away. Oh, shit, man. That worked out really well. Cheeky sneaky? Before we go that way, let's look over here. Man, this game, I'll tell you what. Beer storage room. I think there's loads of guards right here. I've, if it's a trap, I think I found the area where the trapeze are waiting. One sec. Oh, wait, this takes me to the same place, right? It. going on here? Is a bomb gone off? Oh, there's three guards. A 
And he's in danger from me. Do do do. I'm just taking your friend. Do do do. He belongs to me now. Da 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 da. I don't think these guys are covering each other. <gasps> they don't have line of sight on each other. Thank you very much. Just mug him as well whilst I'm here. I've still got the crossbow. I'm just going to get a frag grenade out in case it all goes a little bit jam and bread. my battery bar full. Hello? Freezer crowd? Take a sip. Nice one, Torch. <clears throat> You're going to blow stuff up in Ace Combat. Nice. Oh, Star Wars Squadrons is out. I was looking at um, Logitech controllers today. Um, you know, yank handles and thruster bars. Ever consider playing Among Us with other art streamers? Hey, James. No. I'm tempted to play Among Us. Yes. But I'm not really tempted to stream it. I don't necessarily find it very entertaining to watch. Are you having fun, Michael? Are you hydrated? Is your butt sore? Do you need a stretch? All right. All right, Eva. Calm down. Chameleon Blackthorn over here. What's this old trail of guns leading all the way to the supply cord? I know, right? Uh, so how are you doing? I managed to miss all four hours of this so far. Also, I got paid. Oh, nice one. You've got vegetable soup instead of noodles. Dude, I am glad. Well done for upgrading to something with at least a hint of nourishment. I know that's been an issue for you. A toy doll. <gasps> a secret room. I found something that these assholes couldn't. Well, well, well. Oh, no. No, no. I think they found it after all. <laughs> they just blew their way in here. Okay, I'm going to hack this computer, I'm sure. Level 3. 50% detection chance. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to have to use some nukes. 15%? Let's risk it. Nice. 30%. Um, um, uh, let's nuke this. Capture this and then speed it in. Oh, it's worked out great. We've got loads of time, in fact. I could have done some of these. Phoenix Insta Messaging Autosave. Hive Master, you there? Pick up, pick up, please. Mr. Van Bruggen, this is a surprise. No time for chit chat. Job offer still good? Depends. What you do, Adi? But I'm paid to do. Only this time, clients aren't happy. She never is. So you'll arrange with Hong Kong? Might take some time. Do it. What the fuck you doing, Mill? Never seen Dragon Lady this pissed off. BT is hiding under. Why is safety off? Suggest you get out now. Oh. The official Hive newsletter. This Saturday, the Hive will be celebrating 15 years in Lower Heng Shah. Clubs that last for 15 years, that's a rare thing. Come join us to celebrate with an all-night bash. Free champagne, 7 to 10. Ladies night, DJs. International superstar, DJ Trung Ho. Mmm, hope to see you at the hive. Get word to Pritchard, Malik. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? 
<gasps> oh. Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop... One sec. I just want to refill my battery bar. And I think it's one of these things. I am listening to it, don't worry. Pep's energy pack. Revolver ammo, pistol ammo. I'm sure I had like a some kind of thing that refilled battery energy. There. I'll have a chat with the owner. Mm. Okay, my friends. We are going to take a look and see if we can find out what's going on in the hive. I think we're going to stop it there for today's episode, you lovely people. The mystery deepens in China. And we have very cleverly avoided all of the guards to actually get here. So... 10 out of 10 for Mind Matter. We're going to give this a save. You lovely people on YouTube, thank you so much for joining me. And remember, I didn't choose this. Take care.